Yeah, understood. Thank you very much, Walt. Sorry again for waking you up. Give my regards to Jean. Okay, got gotta run. H hey, Martin, wait a minute. Martin, you still hang around with uh, Bo Berenger? Of course. In fact, he's my stepfather. Great. Think he has a couple of men available? Today? Right now, in fact? There's something important I need taken care of. Um, sure. Something you need help moving? Uh, not exactly. Here's the address. I need this house watched. All day and all night until I say stop. If anyone suspicious goes poking around, tie him up and bring him here. I'll pay double the usual rate. Or triple, whatever he needs. And nobody else knows about this, right? Jack, they're more into looking after valuables, not houses. What's the difference? Well, these guys probably wouldn't care either way. Okay, Jack, no problem. I'll make the call. As for your retirement, I've been... Uh, let's focus on today, Martin. Now keep that house secure, all right? Okay, okay, I have a phone in the car. I'll call Bo right away. I appreciate it, Martin. Believe me, I do. Hey, Jack. Yeah? Anything else I need to know about this? Uh, no. Better you don't. Ooh. Hello? I'm an addict. Please, I don't want... Listen to me, Lana. R I really am an addict. For 20 years now, give or take. I've been lying to myself that I'm in control of the situation, and sometimes it really seems like I am, but sometimes in the more desperate moments, I become completely dependent on the pills. And it's just dumb luck that I haven't killed myself. Or someone else. More than a few times, I've come pretty close. I've been stoned while I'm driving, was even stoned once during a firefight. I've been on drugs while I made decisions where dozens of lives were on the line. When I'm overworked, I need the pills. That's my problem. It's my weakness. But I always knew that if I admit my weakness, if I start talking about the problem publicly, if I go to rehab, then I'm already as good as retired. They'll take advantage of the scandal and get rid of me forever. It doesn't matter all the good work I'm trying to do at the police department. They'll just bury me. So I'm keeping my problem a secret. At least until I can retire. I have to. I know it's the right thing to do. You realize, Jack, this is the first time you ever called me? What? You called me this time. I thought you were just waiting for me to stop bugging you, but now you called me and you opened up, even though you didn't have to. <laughs> Maybe you're stoned? What? I... <laughs> no, I'm not stoned right now. Well, Jack, I guess you need me as much as I need you. I need you more than you need me. Now I know you're stoned. Lana, I'm... You were... I heard everything you said, Jack. I understood everything just fine. You don't need to say anything else. Right, exactly. Say no more. Aww. Day 71. Uh, look, they're, they're trying to hash out the differences there, and... Hey, welcome back to more of This is the Police. Police station desk sergeant, the dentist spread, uh, spreading panic among citizens. Police overwhelmed by avalanche of false dentist leads and Freeburg residents jumping at shadows. I only had like two or three of them and yesterday, well maybe today they'll actually multiply, who knows. Mafia still likes me the same way, City Hall loves me. Let's just go to work, man. Say it's gonna rain today? No, you're fine. Ooh, we have one. Okay, look at all my detectives. They're looking so well. You know what? I feel like giving this bar. Let's see. Trevor, he can go to school. But you know what? I'm giving this bar. I want to give it to Jackson. Just because of that face. I love that face. <laughs> Start the day. And... Yeah. 
Careless Love. Love that song. Alright, we got a new cop slot. Not yet, because we also got a new detective slot as well. And I got a raise. Fantastic. We can get a new cop for B shift. And let's see, three, six, eight. Let's see, three, six, eight. Might as well get it all for B shift because I'm also going to need a cop over there too. So, hmm. hmm. I don't, I don't know. Roberta Tipson? Maybe. Yeah, she she looks okay-ish. I want Dixon. Gonna go with Dixon. And... Todd Morgan. He looks so grizzly, but we're gonna go with Kuzma. He's also in B-Ship now. And now we have the serial murder right here. So King and Kokobirsky... Or, or Kokirbinsky. We're gonna go after the serial murder in the motel. A 33-year-old Judas Pierce, former secretary of the mayor, was found brutally murdered in a motel room. We're starting to see a pattern when it comes to the mayor. Proceed and be safe. And while we're at it, too... Oh, they're already handling that, excuse me. Yeah, that's, that's the abduction case. So... You know what, let's go take care of this arson case. Because it's been around for quite some time. And let's see... Jackson... There you go. They got this. They got this. Alright, now it's time to see if we're going to get some more... Uh, more of these uh, phony phone calls. Attempt to murder and desire partner. A woman claims that she just uh, that she was just in the park and the dentist was chasing her. He heard the sound of a drill and his eyes flashed with devilishness. Uh, we should be fine, but still treat it as serious. There you go. Give the frames to the feds. Ooh, investigation, we can actually continue on and bring those other detectives. In there. So, boom, close. Jogger wearing reflect glasses, we're on park at that time, and there were drill sounds coming from a nearby construction site. Alright, homicide in the Buddhist temple. A sleazy looking man burst in the temple shouting, Come get it, you peace loving bald bastards and wounded two attendants. An eyewitness contacted him, please, and got out of there as fast as he could. He said something, someone else had already begun returning fire. Why are you, why are you pissing? Why are you picking on Buddhist priests? Why? Why? Excuse me, I'm from the neck of but I need to crack it. Suspicious individual, a saleswoman knows a strange man through the window carrying the drill. Looks like that guy, the dentist from the news, at least from the back. <laughs> He's singing some wicked song, I'm afraid to go near him. In the center of the temple are two wounded monks, and there is a wounded old man moaning in the corner. He dropped his gun near the monks' trail of blood stains leading out to the left. Call for an ambulance? Inside the room is a small, scruffy looking man muttering something about God. He's wounded, and next to him is a spent gun. Alright. Slowly step forward and move the gun away from the criminal. There you go. Got his ass kicked by some monks. He does an ordinary student who's sending something from the telegram. Another false alarm. Not bad. Got a good roster of police officers, so we're in a good, good position.
Drug sales at the dump. The guards in the city dump has eyes on a meeting between two gangs, apparently both from Eastern Europe. The leader of one of the gangs is trying to uh, uh, talk about powder. The guard can't see how many people are there, but it counted four cars. Okay. Well, we're just gonna bring a bunch of people and SWAT. If they require backup, I'm, I'm bringing like someone with some bars and then also Smith. I know that I'll still have someone with a five, but it's better safe than sorry. Alright, investigation wise, we're doing okay. Detectives, all the known detectives are in the same case, that's good. Wonder if the mayor's gonna get pissed like off at me. Oh. The gangs have already started shooting at each other and haven't yet noticed police presence. Some of the some are behaving like madmen and firing in all directions. Um, shoot the guy with the automatics who was popping off towards the police position. Fire a couple of warning shots in a loudspeaker. Order them cease fire. Wounded Ben is running towards the police position with one hand. He's gripping his wounded leg. The other is holding up a gun, which he's pointing at everyone but one by one. The guy's obviously in a panic and his pupils dilated and he's shouting something in an incomprehensible language. Okay, hold the man at gunpoint to the ambulance rafts. 11, 11. Safe, unharmed, good to go. Yeah, I should start just getting Smith some experience instead of just trying to keep waiting for one of these backup positions. Alarm went off in a warehouse that doesn't seem so much. There you go. Receiving stolen property. Thanks to a tip from an informant, we learned that a large sum, a uh, large shipment of imported alcohol, which was stolen yesterday from the port, is currently located in an abandoned house in the suburbs, where it is about to be split up and transferred to smaller sales points. There's at least five armed guards at the house. Fishbach, Vandal, Grant, and Alejandro. I keep wanting to get Alejandro's experience up higher and higher and higher, because they had a bar, and... They started, I think, at a hundred, and yet now they have this many. They've they've done really well for themselves. Nine ten. Report. Place the man. Apparently, a short and alarm electric or an alarm wire short circuited. Arson report. Just need a little bit more information, and then we can do it. Hmm. Uh, of course, I need backup. Alright, Fonth and Otten Hode. Actually, um, Adams and Hode. Those two. Reason why is because if they need now three people backing up, I'll have one person with a bar and then the other two people that don't. Oh, um, also two, Shift A. Is anyone going to school? No one is going to school. Well, Trevor, it is your lucky day. Damn it, I missed it. Not his lucky day. Oh well. <sighs> I missed it by like that much. Alright, offenders are caught, officers are unharmed. Wonderful. Okay. And yeah, just end the day. Yeah, at least everyone's safe. That's good. So we're good on that. I should have put someone through school, but I guess not. Oops, I forgot. Next time around, Trevor. But hey, I guess I gotta end it right here and just say hey, thanks so much for anyone watching this is police. Hopefully you are enjoying this. Have a good one and see you later.